Hello people, I was just messing around in this scene I've got going here with these uh, dark scene and some laser lights and I thought I might just show you how I did that, you might like to know. So let me get rid of these lights I've got going on here. Um, come across to objects in Octane, Octane area light. And I'm just going to move this so we can see it. So we can see it there. Um, so to project a image or a light, uh, just come across to the Octane light tag area in distribution, C4 Octane image texture. Select the image texture and I just went and Googled for this here, grid matrix, which gave me this pretty cool grid of uh, green, green lines. So I'm just gonna go and select that. You can see it's projecting the green there and to get it to um, show uh, how we want it to, we want to go projection and change this to perspective in the texture projection. And then so it's projecting it now at a sort of perpendicular angle, but we need to make it really small. So let's come across to uh, details and put the outer radius down to like one. And then it's working, but the light, the power isn't strong enough. So let's just put it chuck a heap of zeros in till it gets to its maximum. So now you can show, see it's showing up and I'm just going to put the power in the image texture to maximum as well. And there we go, and that's it. So now if I was to rotate this uh, minus 90 degrees, you can see it's uh, projecting from above now. And if I move it up and down, you can see how it's affecting and moving across the plane. And that's pretty much how I achieved the effect and uh, what I was working on, I just went into the image texture and I you know, transformed the scale up and down um, and uh, put a color correction on the light to change it to red. But that's a pretty straightforward basic way on how to project this laser light effect and you know, this is what I came up with in my project in the end. Hope that tip helped you out and I'll catch you next time. See ya.